Welcome everyone. This is Professor Hemlock today. We're going to go over Arcane Mage on Sun King Salvation in Heroic Mode. So this is a really fun boss for Arcane. You get to do a lot of AoE damage. You actually feel like you're really powerful and you can top some meters here on this fight. Uh, so let's kind of go straight into the video here. Uh, starting off on this fight, all of the ads here are going to be trying to get grouped up. And then we're going to be applying a bunch of AoE pressure here. So I do run Night Fae for this fight. And in addition to running Night Fae, I am running the Double Potency Conduit. I'm running the Touch of the Magi and the Arcane Missiles Clear Casting. Okay. Uh, as well, in addition to the Legendary uh, Arcane Bombardment, where if a mob is at under 35% HP, it takes 130% bonus damage from Arcane Barrage. When I open this fight here, as we can kind of tell, I used all of my cooldowns. So my first opening, instead of going onto a soft opening, I want to put out as much pressure and kill these mobs as quick as possible. I went into a touch of the Magi, presence of mind, and then an AP go. So we used big cooldowns right off the bat. Our tanks did a perfect job. Our tanks kept the mobs nice and tight. Our DKs gripped the mobs in. And then we, at the end there, you kind of saw I had to get one mob that was left back. I kicked it and I brought it back in. So in this intro phase, we're using all of our cooldowns, big, big cooldowns. We're putting as much pressure out into these ads as possible. The more speed we have downing these ads, the better. So feel free, blow all of your cooldowns. This is not a fight where you're holding for a specific phase. We are just going to have continual ad spawns up until our healers can phase the boss into a shade spawn. So uh, right now, we're just killing ads and uh, using cooldowns. So make sure you take as little damage as possible. These dads do have a spawn of like a castigate effect, basically, where they target someone and they drop a little like AOE red puddle around them where it radiates damage while they're casting that ability. Uh, if you can, don't be near teammates when you have it. In the beginning of the video there, I did have one teammate uh, stand near me and taking excessive damage. So right here we have phased uh, and we're moving into phase two, which is the shade. Now, at this point, I actually have AP back up, and I just popped AP in all of our big burst cooldowns. Right there, there's a soak you want to help stand in as much as possible to help your group uh, take as little damage as possible from that or prevent any deaths. The Phoenixes will be our off target here. We want to burn them down. Thankfully, we have a great melee DPS core here that's really burning down the Phoenixes, and I don't need to worry too much about them. So I was able to use all of my AP and touch go on that shade. Now it's really important you keep as much damage pressure as you can while moving here. So I'm I'm even though I know I'm moving, I'm still using rune here. I'm I'm using touch of the magi again. I am just keeping damage 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 damage. And then eventually we'll phase and then we'll go back into a phase 1 where now adds are going to be spawning and we're going to be uh basically just targeting them down, using Arcane Explosion, and keeping up as heavy burst damage as we can. Now, this is a, a really big healer fight, so utility-wise, what you kind of want to be doing is, if you're called for on your group using your utility, it's really important. You see those pedestals in this back of the room here. You want to be having someone draining them at all time. Now, there should be designated people that will be cycling through this, which is kind of what we do. You can kind of see our hunters are back here doing the dedicated soaking for this, and our tanks are doing dedicated soaking for this. So on our end, as mage, we're trying to put out as absolutely much damage as possible since Arcane is so powerful this fight. It's probably going to be recommended for your group to have you use those pedestals as least as possible, uh, along with your boomkins, they're going to be doing the most damage. So again, going into this here, we see a link come out. We're running into it to help our healers out. These soul infusers in the back here and why I run to target them, they take back some of the work you've done healing. So it's very important to focus target them if you can. So that's why I ran over there to deal that additional damage. And I'm going to go back to that AOE rotation here. Now, one of the really important things on this fight uh, it's a little bit different than normal is you're not going to run out of mana as much due to the usage of arcane explosion, uh, 
it, it's just not as mana intensive. So do feel free when you have a phase where you are able to do that burst damage, just pump it out. Just hold four charges if you're doing a single target rotation. Uh, otherwise, just keep blasting them. Now, once you get these packs down again, and you've got Kael'thas is starting to be healed up again, you're going to go into another healing phase. So as we can see here, I've got this little castigate effect on me. I'm going to kind of rotate out. I've got these bleeds on me. This would be a great time to ice block right here instead of taking all this static damage. You can see I'm taking about 700 damage per tick right now. Would have been a great time to have block, but I had to block earlier uh, due to a failed mechanic on my part. I took too much damage from that Castgate AoE. So here soon, we're going to start seeing the next phase come up. We have a lot of DPS going out right now. I'll kind of fast forward a little bit here. Now right here, I'm going to pause for a second. We still had a bunch of adds up while the shade came up. So last time we dropped all of our fire on that east side of the room. Now we're going to rotate to this west side before you start targeting Kael'thas. If there are ads like this up in the group, finish them off. Finish them off. And then we'll go back into that single target rotation on the shade. Now this is the ending phase right here. We will down the boss, but I'm still going to be safe. There's a big soak mechanic right there. I could have gone in and helped, but we called for DK having the anti magic zone to reduce the damage taken. Now, once I've got all these ads down, we're going to be able to start finishing off the shade. And this is going to be a kill right here. Very good. Shade goes down. And that is the Sun King Salvation. Now, let's we'll pull up parse data here. We can kind of see I ended up topping the meters here. Uh, beating our little boomy dude at a 4.6k ending DPS. And pulling up the logs. Here's my damage breakdown. And what my cycle looked like. You can kind of see on that cooldown use how much you spike. My gear score. I was 209 eye level for this fight. Then we'll exit out and we'll go to damage done. And then I scored a 96 on the overall parse with a 64 for eye level. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, or uh, don't. And hopefully you enjoyed the video, and we'll be coming out with more content later in the week. Thank you guys. Y'all have a great day. Enjoy the New Year's.